Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Develop session about refactoring in Eclipse. In the last episode we already developed our first two tests and checked the coverage of those tests on our business logic and at that point we're going to continue now to write the rest of our test suite. So the next thing we're going to do is create another test case which actually starting from the top additionally executes uh, the content of this if statement here. So I need a regular movie rental with more than two days rental duration. So I copy over the test and say should add long regular movie rental to statement because Alice loves Batman more than Spider-Man, she's going to keep this movie this movie for three days. Three days means that we have the amount of two from here and an additional day, so 3.5 in total of costs for the movie, 3.5. Since we only have this one rental, the total amount should also be 3.5 and the frequent rental points should still be one. This is the test already and I'm going to quickly execute that. It fails. It fails. Why? Let me check down here. Ah, because I didn't check the... Uh, didn't change the name of the movie, which I did now. And now the test should pass. And our test coverage jumped up a little more to 80. As you can see here, it is pretty easy to get the test coverage up uh, to rise quickly. I just wrote like three test cases and it jumped up from 0 to 80%. So it's not really difficult to reach like 60-70% test coverage. But this is not what you want to do. You want to reach 100% test coverage. But that's kind of the ideal thing. So you're not going to re ever ever achieve that in a real system. But it's it should be your goal. And also always remember that test coverage does not mean, 100% test coverage does not mean that your code is thoroughly tested. But test coverage can help you a lot to find the places uh, in your code that actually lack tests. Like we do here right now because we can see, for example, that uh, this movie regular case here has now been covered, whereas these two other cases down here have not been covered yet. So this is what I'm going to do next. I want to cover the test, uh, the case of a new release rental with a test. Go back to the test thing. Copy this. Should add new release movie rental to statement. Uh, Charlie is going to rent X Men which is a brand new movie of course and he's going to run that for only one day because that's the simplest possible test case so it's Charlie it is X-Men and it should cost him three bucks because every day costs three bucks for a new release movie so this is 3.0 this down here should also be 3.0 and the frequent renter point should be one because it the additional points down here are only granted for new releases that are rented longer than one day. So this is it. Quickly re-execute the test case. Did everything right. Again, the code coverage jumped up and we can see that this path has been covered. Nice. Let's move on to the next test. So next thing I'm going to check is the children's movie case down here with a rental time of less than three days to uh, cover the case where this if statement here evaluates to false. So let me quickly copy this test case and say should add children's movie rental to statement. Let's call this one Emma. Emma is going to see uh, Fantastic Four. 
Fantastic Four actually written right. This is going to be a children's movie. Why ever it's rented for one day? Do you keep it simple? And then say, okay, Emma rented Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm not able to write that correctly, apparently. Rented uh, Fantastic Four for one day, so she should be charged 1.5 bucks. 1.5 here, total should be 1.5, frequent renter points should be 1. So let's execute this. Seems to work. And we actually covered this branch as we wanted. Next test case is children's movie with a rental time of more than 3 days. So take this one. I should add long children's movie rental so Emma didn't like Fantastic Four but she rented Lion King instead and kept it for four days so in this case it should be 1.5 plus 1.5 so three bucks 3.0 total of 3.0 I have to replace Fantastic Four by Lion King and the frequent renter points is still one. Let me execute that. Test case works and we actually managed to achieve 99.4% test coverage. Pretty good, huh? But still there's, there's branches uncovered. So one comment about this line. He's still complaining that I missed one branch here, which is the default branch actually, where none of these cases is taken. But since we kind of live in a world where we assume that the price code is always one of those three constants, uh, I'm not going to write a test case where this happens. We could of course argue that for this to be always true, we should move these constants to something like an enumeration or stuff, but I'm not going to discuss this now because we're going to refactor this code anyways. Okay, so the last thing I want to check here is actually this condition becoming true. So I want a movie to be a new release and I want this days rented to be longer than one to get the additional frequent rental point down here. So I'm going to add that below the new releases test. I'm going to say should add should get additional frequent renter point for long new release movie rental. Can save the two statement. So Charlie actually wanted to rent X-Men 2 for let's say three days and this is going to cost him nine bucks because it's three bucks per day and he should get two frequent renter points. Quickly execute this, test run screen and we achieved 100% coverage which is pretty nice. We can go over here and see that everything's green um, so it's a hundred percent statement coverage actually because as you can see here the the branch coverage is not yet at a hundred percent but I think that's what's what's missed here displayed here is only the statement coverage okay this looks pretty good so far but one thing I want to do in addition is write a test case where this loop is actually uh, computed, executed more than once, so a case where we have more than one rental inserted here to make sure that each of the rentals is added to the statement. So I'm going to write yet another test case even though the coverage is already in 100% because I think this case is important. So I say should add multiple multiple rentals to statements. So for, um, let's call him Hugo, there's different movies he wants to see. One is Robin Hood, 
which is a children's movie and he's going to keep that for three days and then we have V4 Vendetta which is a regular movie and he's going to keep that for let's say five days so we have to change the name here we have to insert Robin Hood here which is a children's movie for three days children's movie for three days should be 1.5 bucks that's nice and cheap and then we have to add another line here which says V for Vendetta and this is a regular movie but it's for th five days so it's regular 2 plus 3 times 1.5 is 4.5 so it should be 6.5 bucks here and in some it's something like 8 bucks and it should be 2 frequent renter points let me quickly execute that. Test works, coverage is still at 100%. And with this, I reached the point where I think I covered all the cases I want to have tested here. And I also already satisfied the code coverage with the one test less. So in the next episode, we set up to actually start our refactoring. Okay, this is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. I'm always happy to improve on your feedback. You might also want to have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. And give me feedback about what you think. Thanks a lot for watching again and hope to see you next time.